We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. Look, these are tunnels, right? Just one exit and one entrance. No, that keeper tunnel from the elevator lobby led into the superstructure. Once you're in there, the place is like an ant farm. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son, Koliath. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus, if you want to see him. Uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him. Uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. These are dark days for all of us. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is gonna keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. All that time you were working for Udina, did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead and you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Udina and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. Can this station be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time-consuming. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. How does the Citadel fit into the war now? Uh, the war finally found us. This is so far beyond our imagination, and we have been trained to expect the unexpected. Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. I hear a lot of praying and crying. They're saying this is the war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. You hear anything about your family out there? Not a peep. I always believed I'd get a chance to tell my ex-wife a few things. And my kids on Earth. I was supposed to visit them. First vacation in years, but I had to cancel when I got promoted. Don't give up hope, Bailey. Thanks, Shepard. I'm really trying not to think about it. I'll leave you to it, then. I'm here if you need me. This is a problem, boss. Cerberus has changed their ciphers, and our codebreakers aren't getting anywhere at the moment. I've got our best teams working in shifts on it. But ensuring Citadel Systems' integrity is just gonna take time. If we can get some of their field encryption tools, maybe sample ciphers... I understand. Keep trying. They hit where? Damn it. How are we supposed to predict the moves of an enemy we don't understand? Divert to... Crap. Do we have any AI-enabled fragments of Sovereign? Any Reaper code I can analyze? No? Well, then they'll keep outmaneuvering our fleet in a sorry world, so we keep burning. No, I'm seeing it here, too. We're low on metagel and synthetic blood, and we don't have enough volunteers. If we could get the rings of a loon from the Salian Nebula, we could declare a cultural crisis. People would have to listen. No, they're not just symbolic. The Asari revere a loon. She wore these rings after learning medicine from a Thame herself. She was like a Dalatress for your people. If we displayed her rings, we'd get more Asari support in the hospitals. We got out of that farm and into the hills. I pulled the farm girl after me. All I wanted to do was... was live through the night. Nobody else could have done more. But morning came and no shuttle. Afternoon and then night and hiding from husks and those Turian things. The file says the evacuation team thought your position was overrun. So after two days, I still don't have a gun because those Turian things, you can't use theirs. I realize that shuttle isn't coming. Not unless I get back to the farm and my radio. 
And the farm girl? She was with me. Even killed a few husks. <laughs> with a stick. <laughs> There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck. And I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Can you? I understand Palavin is very busy, but this is one of your own generals. He was stabbed with a poison blade by a Cerberus soldier during the attack on the Citadel. We can't identify the toxin. We're barely keeping him alive right now. It's some form of neurotoxin. If you could look at our charts... Of course, I understand. Even a general is just one man. Good luck. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath to help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? Everyone makes sacrifices in wartime. You'll make yours sooner or later. I'm sure I will. But I'll do it without betraying my oath or my patience. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Then we'll find a way. Look, we have more fortunate patients, right? Yes. And I hate to say it, but the fortunate ones have far better survival odds. <laughs> and more credits. So we ask them for donations. To get more supplies for those without credits. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? That's... You know, that, that actually might work. Can I help you? I'm looking for a drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drell, but not under that name. He was injured. Stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right. It's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Mm. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel syndrome. At its worst, Keppel syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Did he tell you he was sick? Yes. Back when I was when I had my problems with the law. Knowing doesn't make it much easier. But at least, here, he'll want to see you. See ya. I'm afraid I've picked a bad time to leave. Damn right. I didn't give you permission to die on me. Don't. Don't make me laugh. Hard to breathe. You are a great protector, Siha. But some things are beyond even you. So, did the counselor survive? Yes, Father. Three are alive thanks to you and Shepard. Udina, he instigated it. He is dead. There is something I must do before it gets worse. I must... <coughs> Alahira, 
Mistress of inscrutable depths, I ask forgiveness. Kalihira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. <coughs> Kalihira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. <coughs> Kolyad, you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalahira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira, and she will be a companion to you as she was to me. Last verse say she. The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Bye, Thane. Meet you across the sea. So you went back to the farm. We snuck down the hill. We were hungry, filthy. They'd turned the towel into a kind of tunic. They'd cleaned up the bodies to make more husks, I figured. But there were still farmers alive. They were being held prisoner. And Neyra was there, directing the other forces. I could see her. I, I got within 10 meters of her. I just had my gun. What happened next? I got to the prisoners. The farm girl unlocked their restraints, and that's when they all started screaming. attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How's this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? You know, with all this interest in Edie, it's possible you've overlooked other options. Uh... I, I never really considered it, Commander. No offense. Forget it. So, you and Edie. Well, yeah. What do you think? Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over-the-clothes action? And it's always a risk. But then, so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ugh. 
This sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across Alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. I know it's not fun, but you're doing good work. And it sounds like your students are helping. Damn right they're helping. Hell, we even saw some action on Palavin. We kept barriers on a Krogan squad so they could get in close. Break enemy lines. Glad to hear it. Also help the Turians get a few thousand civilians out safely. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. Something. No, it can't wait until I'm back on duty. The Hesperia period. Their statues had legendarily accurate Prothean inscriptions. Can we use that? Yes, I know the Athena Nebula is off limits, but this... A classified project. It needs all the Prothean intel we can find. I haven't found any reliable pictures, but just think. If those statues had something that could help us, even today... I recovered the Book of Plenix. It's waiting for you in Bay D-24. Earth Clan, this is a priceless gift. Thank you. You may help my people remember themselves. It's my money, and I'm closing my account. Your account helps fund Citadel Defense. If you shut it down and hide the money under your bed, it hurts the war effort. And if Cerberus attacks again and takes the Citadel, my money is gone. I'll take my chances on my own. Thank you. So you're fleeing the Citadel? Running to Sanctuary? If you trust the Council, you'll stay here. Why should I trust them? They couldn't stop Cerberus. What could they possibly do about the Reapers? Nothing if you take your money and hide. Have you seen Palavin? Or Earth? You can't escape this war. At least here you've got the Council fighting for you. But to fight, they need money. Money this bank has loaned them using accounts like yours. Okay. Okay, damn it. Leave the account open. Besides, how can some place like Sanctuary promise more safety than the Citadel? You're right. Guess all we can do is hope for the best. Can't believe how hard the doctors are working to keep that terrorist bastard alive. He's in intensive care? He got blasted by Cerberus. They think he's just another victim. No, the Krogan are the only race that can fight on the toxic world, so they need support. Well, ideally, something like a cactus. Or they're good in mountains, immune to toxins, ferociously loyal to their riders. Yes, they'd be ideal. Unfortunately, they were driven to extinction during the Rachni War. So, unless we can engineer something new, Krogan on toxic worlds will have to fight on foot without support. Another server's trap? Bomb or turret? How many this time? Clear the area until you've done a full sweep. We need a way to find their tech and shut it off safely. No, the crime still doesn't have anything. The tech they got off the bodies of a few Cerberus engineers self-destructed when they took it apart. Not much we can do, except pick up the pieces after another turret guns down on Mom and her kids. These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. I'll have E-Crimes dig into them. Might even help us find the little present Cerberus left for us. Thanks a lot. This is going to save lives. We contained large scorch marks on the three fatalities. The entire area shot to hell. Precision shots. I heard the Geth use jamming towers to prevent auto-targeting. If we had tech like that, we might save some lives next time somebody attacks the Citadel. You want my security vids? Bring me a warrant. You're stonewalling me? Those vids could be vital to the war effort. I doubt the Reapers have agents doing business in my cafe. We're trying to protect you. Hell of a job you're doing. 
See those scorch marks? Cerberus killed one of my servers right there. Where were you? Hey, I lost threads too. If you care about finding the Cerberus informants who made it happen, you'll give me the bids. We're at war. If you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSEC however you can. Thank you, Commander. I have some high-profile customers. If word gets out that I'm ratting them out to CSEC, you think I care about insider trading or electronic smuggling right now? I'm after the bastards who attacked the Citadel. Nobody else. You've got my word. All right. Just... I hope it helps. Damn it. If we'd kept digging a few hours longer, we'd have gotten the obelisk of Karza. I know the Hades Nexus is off-limits. I'm not an idiot. Damn it, the Alliance needs that thing right now. The obelisk of Karza was supposed to contain Prothean language translations. Like the Rosetta Stone for Protheans. Think of how much it could have helped us understand. Rules be damned. People have a right to defend themselves. If you start selling weapons to everyone in the Citadel, C-Sec will shut this whole place down. C-Sec couldn't protect us when Cerberus attacked. I'll take him to court. You think a court is going to want more people running with guns right now? Then I'll go to the ward and sell from the back room at Purgatory. People are already scared. If you violate weapons laws, they'll just be scared and trigger happy. We're at war. If the Citadel gets attacked again, everybody needs to fight. The commander's right. It's not like those Reaper things care about hurting civilians. But selling weapons to just anyone makes it easier for groups like Cerberus to get a hold of them. Cerberus attacked the Citadel with military-grade weapons and powered armor. I doubt they need one of my pistols. Okay, you're right. Just... just be careful. Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Maybe these heating stabilizer schematics could help. This is amazing. The colonists, my sister, will be most pleased. Thank you. I am in your debt. We have to keep enforcing the law. Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. Look at Powell's in, my friend. We're in hell. We should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place? How does cracking down on that crap help us win the war? People need to blow off steam right now. And how does letting the misdemeanors go help the war? Less time spent on the light stuff means the Citadel has more money for defense. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. Cerberus caught CSEC by surprise last time. You need to make sure that never happens again. That's what I'm saying. Forget the small stuff. Support defense and security and take down anyone who threatens the peace. You make it sound like we're under martial law. After a coup attempt during wartime, maybe we should be. Yeah. Then you're right. Look, the asshole's in custody now. Killing him won't bring anyone back. It's about justice. The man is a traitor and a murderer. You saw what he did to your wife. To my husband. And didn't bat an eyelash. He's evil, there's no doubt. What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away, and I'll move in and make the kill. Don't answer that. Commander Shepard. Guess I know what happened to my backup. Excuse me? Come on. I'm in CSEC in civilian gear with a weapon. I know when I'm made. Just let me explain. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. CSEC officer who helped Cerberus. CSEC caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup, good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. Tell me what this guy did to deserve death. 
He executed his own friends in cold blood for Cerberus. Cleared the path for their troops. Now he's saying he's a vet. And he was suckered in by talk of helping humanity. I don't know what intel he has, and I don't really care either. He dishonored the uniform. Officer, I'm Commander Shepard. You have a prisoner here, a Cerberus informant. I'm invoking Spectre authority to take charge of him. Do what you have to do. Thank you, Commander. If he's a terrorist, he ought to be locked up. He should be shot. Goris wanted for six bodies. Six. Killed both humans and Batarians. He bombed his own people? Why? He was part of a terror cell. Picked crowded places. Voya, Omega. Doesn't matter to these asshole fanatics who gets blown up. If I was his doctor, I'd pull the plug. You don't want this guy dead. He could lead us to other suspects. Who's gonna have time to find him in the middle of a war? Listen, Goris should be punished in a courtroom where people can see it happen. I want a society to get back to when this damn war is over. Whatever. So did you tell the refugee camp who Goris really is? I tried. Well, what happened? Uh, I didn't have any proof. Kinda got hot under the collar. You punched someone, didn't you? The prisoners were indoctrinated. They think. And once the alarm was sounded... Yeah, Ira's eyes were black. The whole time, not just for a second. I could feel her mind from where I was standing. And the humans were in the way, attacking us. I used my biotics. Flung them around. I'd been horrified when Naira tore the farmers apart, but gods... I ripped them in half. And it felt good. There's nothing shameful about feeling an adrenaline rush during battle. I might have killed more than Naira and those husks did. She wanted them alive, to turn them. And I... And you survived. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? Knowles, I found another spot with a Batarian code system. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes and someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like... Okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Ma'am. I had a friend in security at Sonax, and there was definitely Prothean tech on Garbug. Mm. I know the Valhallen threshold is Reaper territory now, but Prothean tech could help the crucible. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm aware this is an unsecured channel. Y yes, understood. Thank you, ma'am. The galaxy needs to understand what these refugees have been through. Can't you let me in? No. I only need a couple of hours of footage. You're not crossing that dock. Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? Solik Vaz, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive. But you could catch a few quick shots for me. There are lots of refugees on the rest of the Citadel. It won't have the same impact as seeing crowds trapped on the docks. We all need to help each other. I want this documentary to shock people into action. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni-Tool in the refugee camp. I'll be here when you're done. Are you okay? I've just been standing here, holding this for I don't know how long. He'll always be a part of me. Your past is yours. 
No one can take that away. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. Goodbye, Robert. I'm glad you came. I just need a few moments to myself. Yes, that's just what this documentary needs. Great shot, Commander. Excellent. That will really get people's attention. Thank you, Commander. That should be enough footage. Come meet me again when you're able. I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Pressure's okay. No infection so far. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I peg his survival at 50-50. Are you Gorak? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist's doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <laughs> with someone on Eratok remembers your face. Planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butchered a colony. Only regret. <laughs> Don't have the strength to... So you just started murdering people. How many did you murder? Don't pretend your hands are clean, you... No one here would even be alive if I hadn't destroyed that relay. I spent months taking heat for Aratot from both the Alliance and the Batarians, and you know what? If it saved the entire galaxy, I can live with that just fine. Then why don't you... <laughs> then why don't you get rid of another Batarian for your precious galaxy? Shepard, you saved my life again. What happened? Cerberus troopers came through here to secure the docks. They lined us all up. Then, one of them started asking around for me by name. But they didn't find you. Their record said I went off-grid. If I hadn't changed my identity, I don't know what would have happened. Thank you. So many here had to leave loved ones on their home worlds and try to comfort them, but I know what the Reapers are capable of. I need support. Someone sabotaged the Metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. No, I've contacted CSEC. They said it's not a priority and it doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Turian soldiers dying for lack of medication. Hey, Commander. James, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are Alliance property. Have a little faith, Lola. I have a little. Listen, please, we just need more food. I can give you the location of some ruins. Prothean ruins. On Gay Hinnom in the Hades Nexus. Nice. If you could get past the Reaper patrols, I'm sure you'd find something valuable. That's got to be worth something. Please, my family is starving. About time. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. One sec, Commander, I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Yes. After you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? The ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago? Sound familiar? A 
Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yes. Looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true power in the galaxy. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. And then they became indoctrinated. When the Reapers reached Darshan, our own people betrayed us. Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on allied targets. We were destroyed from within because of you. The Batarians made enemies throughout the galaxy, and now you've paid the price for it. We were a proud race, a beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony, and I can't save my people. But I can end you. You're not gonna pull that trigger. You know what I'm doing out here. Yes. Forging alliances with the Turians, the Krogan. Killing you will tear all the other races apart. And then the Reapers wipe out the last of your warships, the last of your people. And you know that. That's why you'll join us. We're all you have left. I could kill you. I could do it right now. Shepard, are you all right? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. We're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Cerberus wants our help. And if Cerberus is good enough for Commander Shepard, it should be good enough for us. Oh, for the love of him. Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Wow, it's great to see you again. I joined Cerberus, too. Conrad, Cerberus just tried to kill the Council. I'm not working with them. Oh, no. I screwed up again, didn't I? Just... I'm sorry if I ever accused you of pointing a gun at me when you didn't actually do that. I was really stressed out. I heard the Metagel dispensers have been sabotaged. Was that you? What? No. No, Cerberus just asked me to recruit people near the medical station. Which was sabotaged while you had everyone distracted. Oh. Oh, wait. 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 No. I'll deal with it. Just don't do anything okay but i might be able to help you with uh, whatever you're doing now that isn't cerberus conrad i'm building an ancient prothean dark energy device to stop the reapers can you help with that well i did write my doctoral dissertation on xenotechnology and dark energy integration really yes in fact i may be able to find some ancient tech schematics that could help you with construction Hang on, I have an old contact. Ah, oh, come on, Hossel, help me out. Sorry, the war has him scared. Hossel? Gavin Hossel, the tech researcher? I did him a favor once. Tell him this is for me. I had no idea you two knew each other. Small universe. Okay, he's forwarding the schematics over. Oh, no. It's in an ancient Asari dialect. We'd need a lot of ancient Asari writing to translate. Would this collection of Asari matriarch writings help? Uh, yes. Yes, it would. Okay, it's auto-translating. Let's see. Oh, no. The technology falls under an existing patent. I can't actually access the schematics without a license from, let's see, Elkos Combine? How did you even? Well, this is great. Okay, here you go. Hope this helps you build that dark energy device. Anyway, good luck fixing the Metagel dispensers. I'll just be here, not touching anything. Weren't you running a shelter for war orphans on Ilium? Yeah, 
It was doing well until the Reapers attacked. I ended up spending most of what I had left getting the kids off world. I'm sorry if that was... No. You did the right thing. Thanks. You doing okay? I'm doing great. Listen, can I ask you something, though? Do you really think you'll defeat the Reapers? We'll defeat them or we'll die trying. There's no other option. Yeah, okay. Listen, another question. Do you really think you'll defeat the Reapers? You just asked me that, Conrad. Sorry. I like to ask all the questions I can think of, and sometimes I forget which ones I've asked already. I should go. Seems this place is hard-pressed for supplies. I think I saw some guys fighting over a thermal clip. A what? A thermal clip. They stop weapons from overheating. Sorry. Just a joke. Wait. Where do these thermal clips come from? I thought weapons cooled down. They used to. After the Geth attack a few years back, we switched to thermal clips. Well, that sounds like a major step backward. It lets guns fire with more power, and soldiers can pop in a new clip instead of waiting for the gun to cool. Fine, sure. You can still wait for your gun to cool down on its own, though, right? No, the in-gun cooling tech was sacrificed to make room for the thermal clips. Okay, that's just... <laughs> you might as well be going back to limited ammunition. It's not ammunition, Conrad. I just don't think it's a very good idea. I'll be sure to let every military organization in the galaxy know that. Did you lose anyone back on Earth? No. I mean, extranet friends and such. But I don't really have any family left. What about your wife? Mm. Conrad, do you even have a wife? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, no. But see... Conrad, if you have some kind of weird shrine of me, I am going to be very unhappy. It's just a poster with a few candles. It's very tasteful. Gah! Shouldn't you go repair that medical station? I mean, people are dying, right? Nice. I fixed the sabotage. The metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, hey, you! You're under arrest. Shepard. Shepard, did I help? Yeah, Conrad, you helped. I don't even feel anything. Actually, I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. Hi, Commander. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years ago when I was working undercover at Cora's Den. And now you're volunteering here. Right. Chalik showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? You... you saved my life. I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. Oh, the Commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it. Caden, hey, I wondered where you went. What's up? I'm trying to wrap my head around what just happened. You sound angry. No, just not used to staring down the gun of someone I've worked with so closely. I went on one down, and it's got me... I don't know. Okay, talk to me. Let's have it. If I hadn't backed down first, I feel like you would have taken me out. Doesn't matter. It could have played out a dozen different ways. Main thing is we stop the coup and Cerberus is off the Citadel. Yeah, but sometimes the way a thing goes down does matter, Shepard. Later when you have to live with yourself. 
knowing that you acted with integrity. And it matters. You're talking about Udina. He gave me no choice, so I took the shot. Any soldier would have done the same. Including you. <sighs> okay. Look, Shepard, there's, uh... There's another reason I'm here. Hackett offered me a position, but... I'd turn it down in a second if there was a chance to join you in the Normandy again. Couldn't imagine meeting the Reapers without you. <sighs> Thank you, Commander. And Shepard, I need you to know that I'll never doubt you again. I get you back. Good to know. Welcome aboard, Major. Aye, aye, ma'am. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power-hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson. It's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I don't care who he is. Next time we meet, he dies. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Hmm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean-specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. Cerberus, Reapers. They'll all pay for this war, one way or another. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships, and the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but... I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on.